It's Tom Sidney Bushnell, aka Numbers, here from Cyclops from the Tom Numbers Show. And news with Tom Numbers, so you're lucky you're getting two of me today. This is my second video within a few hours actually, but I don't know how well you can see this glorious nature behind me. And the sea is pretty boisterous, um, almost like a storm, but not quite. And I just felt I wanted to get out and film, so I'm out here filming. I uh, just wanted to say thanks and gratitude because uh, it's a beautiful time to be alive. This is a beautiful, energetic um, evening. That's what I can, yeah, that's what I can say. So uh, just wanted to say that. And um, storm is 85, or you think Matrix is 85, uh, Silver is 85. Uh, thank you everyone, you've got probably now 22, 21 hours until uh, the cut off for um, the existing price on locals. My, value, my, uh, my locals is valued at $148 a year, currently it's on offer for $54 a year, in 22, 21 hours time, 10 a.m. October 18th PST, it will go to $72 um, for the year, which is still great value because it's valued at $148. Uh, or you can do, do monthly. Monthly is valued at $17 cubed, $17. Uh, right now it's at $6, it will go to $8 again in 20, 22 hours time. So anyway, thank you everyone that's subscribing. Um, I don't know how much you can hear, um, but it's a beautiful evening. Um, over in the distance behind me, over there, if you zoom in, is Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight is 133 simulation. Uh, government 133. Um, and over there as well, on the tip of the Isle of Wight, are some white cliffs called Needles. Needles is 64, Israel is 64, Tenet is 64, Zion is 64, Movie is 64, Jubilee is 64. At the end of Battle of the Future Martin McFly confronts one of his nemesis uh, called Needles. And instead of just taking the bait and fighting, you know, kind of thinking about it, he averts something in the future that would have been detrimental to him. But nevertheless, he confronts it, makes a proper decision, and wins. But it's interesting that there's the fields over there, and it's up here, uh, on these beautiful cliffs. Um, and uh, yeah, just an amazing, amazing time. Amazing time to be alive. Um, and the other thing is, in Inception, about building a house on a cliff along this street there's a, a number of buildings being built so maybe there's a, another Godwink um, a bit further down you've got Sandbanks Sandbanks is 85 which is silver which is matrix which is awakening um, watch the water we definitely get the chance to do that watch the water um, Footprints 152, Bournemouth 152, Ooh. 63, 63 is the year of the dead day, 63 is Friday, that happened on a Friday, November 22nd. All of this is plotted out and it's just amazing, it's beautiful and it's like, it's so real, it's so real, it's like, it is real, it is real, Israel, Israel, yeah, Israel, 64, Tenet, Jubilee, Needles, Israel. But it's, uh, it talks to us, it talks to me, I know it talks to you. Um, and it's just incredible and I get blown away by it. Uh, not like Mary Poppins, I'm still here. Um, but it's really just beautiful, it's, it's like how intricate, how purposeful, how deliberate can life be? Uh, it's designed by, I believe, ourselves our higher selves, 
uh, the creator. I think we're the creator. Uh, we're individual parts of the creator. Um, and I think there's a great awakening, 169. Trump Tower 169, Thomas Bushnell 169, Robert Zemeckis, Back to the Future 169, Tiffany Trump 169, Tiffany Tower, uh, not Tiffany Tower, uh, Elizabeth Tower, which is Big Ben 169. I feel if you spell out 369, it, it feels that we're participants because it's, it's feeding back. And this is the Great Awakening and it's going to just continue. More and more truths will be revealed. And remember, we're going into a kick here. Kick. Guess what? The first concert I ever went to was when I was a kid. I was 14 years old. 1991, I believe it was. Summer Excess, In Excess. And their album was called Kick. <laughs> kick. 34. DJT. 34. Grace. 34. Leap. 34. We're going into a leap year, 2024. We're going into a kick year. Inception talks about all the kicks, the four kicks, to wake everybody up. That's what's happening. All those kicks are synchronized, all those leaps are synchronized. They've saved Israel for last. We're going to see how that unravels. Um, I do believe firmly we've still got another, just over another year of all of this. Next year, it's the leap year, it's the kick year. But those that are prepared, those that are ready, those that are pure in heart, the pure 93 Bushnell, 93 um, Nazareth, 93 Flotus. It's all, it's all there. It's all manifesting and unfolding and being revealed. And uh, it's just a beautiful time. It's an amazing time. And I'm very, very grateful. So I just wanted to express gratitude. And it's just, I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for my support for my fans, for my subscribers, for my followers on YouTube, on Twitter, all over the place, on my email list, or everywhere, all of you, on Locals, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you is 115, which is 11.5, which is November 5th, love you is 115, which is, again, November 5th, so, thank you, Charlie sent me something interesting today, and I knew about it, but it's a refresher, so he sent me some chiasms in the Bible. Chiasms are basically coded messages that start out here, come into the center, and then they reflect backwards uh, to the same point. They're mirror images of each other. They're very much like the principles of Tenet, but chiasma is 53. Um, sorry, chiasm is 53, but chiasma is 54, which is love, which is uh, bonds, which is note. Um, French is 54 but chiasma is in the Bible I knew about those a long time ago I might look at those a bit more but yeah these codes, these texts that have been created um, Tenet talks about it the end of Tenet uh, I was watching that again today and that talks about this temporal pits movement how one starts from one position works its way in and the other one starts from out here and works its way in as well where they meet in the middle and somehow this is what this feels like it's like if you feel that everything is beginning to make sense in this way, that's because it is that's because it was coded this is because it's been planned and this is the great awakening without the great awakening not too much in life makes sense not on a grand scale i mean yeah you're born you live you love you have loss you die, hopefully you leave a legacy, but then it kind of like lost the point. It doesn't make too much sense without the Great Awakening. And this is what this is, the Great Awakening going into the thousand years of peace, the millennium. What a great time to be alive in Rugby. I was watching Blade Runner a few days ago. Blade Runner is 114. 114 is trump card, 114 is frequency, 114 is history. How do you change your history? You change it through your frequency. So maybe dimensions are all to do with frequency. I think there's a key to that. I think that's a clue. Um, but yeah, the purpose of life doesn't make too much sense without the Great Awakening, in my humble opinion. Um, and to quote some people, maybe there's not too much uh, 
humble about me. I think I'm humble in some areas, for sure. But you also need to have strength and confidence in doing this kind of work. You can't be a shrinking pilot. You have to have self-belief and self-confidence uh, to move forward in this time of being a digital soldier. And President Trump's our leader, and I love him and I'm grateful for him. And there's, uh, he's humble, but he's, he's, uh, he's brave as a lion. He's meek. Meek doesn't mean timid. Meek means powerful and strong. They messed up that word. And so I'm meek, I'm powerful and strong. Strong is 93 Bushnell. So there's a reason I was given that name. Um, and all of you are strong and powerful. Power is 77 Hertz, Christ. Ways up. All right, everyone, it's getting dark. But what a beautiful time to be alive. Put in the comments where you're from. Let me know how things are going for you. And uh, I will see you soon uh, with more numbers, with more messages, with more messages of hope. That's what the numbers are about. The numbers are Godwinks that reconfirm and confirm and give us faith and confidence and reassurance moving into the future. That's the purpose of the numbers. And it also helps deconstruct the matrix. It helps show us the truth. But the purpose of my message, in case people haven't worked it out fully, is to give you hope, to give you confidence, to give you reassurance as we move into these next periods of time. And 2024 is going to be a leap year. It's going to be a kick, a kick year. It's going to be the biggest of all years. But it's going to be glorious at the same time. So hold on to your hats, everyone. Much love. See you soon. Subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already done so, I'd love to see you in there. And uh, I'm still, I'm still holding my my, uh, my Shanghai organizer puck from earlier. Still been walking around with it all day today, and that's why probably I feel so cool and enjoying just nature. It's breezy, but it's fresh and it's glorious. All right, everyone, much love. Take care. Bye.